Having trouble getting the perfect image from ChatGPT the very first time? Well, the good news is ChatGPT images are very easy to edit. And by that, I mean, if you're really close to the right image, but there's just a part of it that you don't quite like, you can easily change it. Hi there, I'm Logan Crockett with Marketing for Normal People, where we teach how you can use AI to get marketing results as fast as possible. And of course, blog posts, YouTube videos, websites, social media, they all need images. And using ChatGPT's DALL-E model is a great way to do that. But if you don't get the right image at first, First, but it's pretty close. You can edit it in an interface inside of ChatGPT, and I'll show you how all of that works. So I'm here in a new chat with ChatGPT 4.0, and let's go ahead and um, let's get an image prompt going. So I'll just say, use Dolly to make an image of an outdoor mad scientist convention with rain and lightning. All right, let's see what it comes up with. Okay, that's not too bad, not too bad. Uh, let's say that I, you know, I like the lightning, it's a little blue, what if we made it pink? What if we just gave it some pizzazz and made it pink? I'm gonna click right on the image, I just did that, and then we're now in the image interface, and so I can see the specific prompt that ChatGPT used uh, to send to Dolly, um, we can download the image and we have the selector here. And so I have this little slider where I can have a large selector or a small selector. And basically I can select the specific part of the image that I want to change out. So let's go ahead and grab this lightning here. I'm gonna kind of go where the clouds are cause it's, um, I wanna change the color of that a little bit too. And I'm just gonna get all the lightning there. All right, that should be good. And then I'm just gonna say mad scientist convention with pink lightning and we'll see what it comes up with so the reason that i said um I, I you know i didn't give the same information as i did before with hey i want it storming i want rain all that kind of stuff i also didn't specifically say outdoors like i did before and the reason for that is because it's already outdoors it's clearly a mad scientist convention i'm not doing anything to change the the scientists themselves. I want to give it a little bit of context that this is a mad scientist convention, but even then I probably could have just said pink lightning um, and and gotten a result. So really the, the main idea here is just whatever you're putting over here, um, you want to make sure that, or you can simplify it so that way it's just the basic information that you need to change. So you don't need to like rewrite an entire prompt with your one little tweak. Um, you know, a whole, hey, outdoor mad scientist convention with rain and pink lightning. I don't need to say all that. I can really just say pink lightning and it should be able to do something like this. So anyway, I like that well enough. Let's uh, let's try it one more time and just have it uh, send it to the Dolly model again and see if we just get a different result. So I'm gonna click regenerate right here and we'll wait on that. Okay, cool. So if I click here, I like that pink lightning a little bit more. That that feels a little bit better to me. So great. So now we have our mad scientist convention outdoors with pink lightning. And again, I can continue even and I can change this image. Uh, let's say, you know, these wheels up here are a little weird to me. So again, if we hit the selector, um, maybe I use a smaller one and I can just kind of highlight around these wheels. And in that case, if I wanted to just get rid of something like that, I can probably just type in something as simple as mad scientist convention. And there's a good chance it's gonna look at the context around it and it's not gonna see anything about wheels. And so there's a good chance that it will um, just not put any sort of thing at all there. So let's go ahead and try that. I'm, I'll just type in mad scientist convention. Again, keeping the prompt very simple because it's just, it already has the context of what's going on. So I'll hit that. Nice, and so there we go. Now we have a little bit of fog there, which looks really cool, uh, but we don't have those wheels anymore. Like, So you don't wanna say, you know, take out the wheels or, or you know, take something out or anything like that. Um, just keep it to the basics and there's a good chance that it will figure it out. And if it doesn't, then you can always redo it or give it another prompt or try again. Anyway, so that's the basics of how you can use this editor interface inside of ChatGPT to change the images. Again, if you get it really close, you have a lot of options to get that exact perfect image that you want. And if you create any awesome images using ChatGPT, make sure you paste them in the comments below. And if you wanna see a really way to link to an image that you can generate, 
generate with ChatGPT, click this video right here. And as always, if you want my free marketing crash course where I cover all the new fundamentals of modern marketing that drive awareness, grow an audience, and get people to buy from you, go to marketingfornormalpeople.com or click or scan right here. Catch you later. Thank <laughs> you.